Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. So Samsung has just released a major security update for the fingerprint scanner on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 series and the S10 series. So you guys will automatically see this update, biometrics update, performance and security, tap to update. So this will open up this little screen. Now I'm not sure when you guys will receive the update but for the unlocked Exynos version this update is already out. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's actually a major security flaw with the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy Note 10 series and the S10 series. So what's going on here is that if you happen to use one of these textured silicone screen protectors, you can see this is one of those matte screen protectors. So what's happening here is that if you use a screen cover such as silicone cover with a textured surface on the inside, which is this one. The texture itself may be recognized as a fingerprint that can unlock your phone. So if you happen to use one of these, you can actually unlock the phone with a non-registered fingerprint. And that is a huge security flaw. This issue is so big that even banks are removing support for the Galaxy S10 and the Note 10. And until this fingerprint scanner issue is resolved, some banks like NatWest have completely removed support for the S10 phones. So this little update to the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on the Note 10 and the S10 is quite important. So you should absolutely go ahead and install it on your Galaxy Note 10 and on the S10. So even the S10 is getting this update, you can see performance and security. So this is the exact same update that the Note 10 is getting. So first we will start off by updating the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, then I will update the Galaxy S10 Plus. Alright, so drop down the notification panel and tap over here. And by the way, you will only see these notifications if you have fingerprints registered. So if you are actively using the fingerprint scanner, you will see this. And this update should be out worldwide very soon because this is a major security flaw. Anyway, there are a few update instructions. All users should tap update below and then restart the phone once the update is complete. Additionally, if you have registered or scanned your fingerprint with a screen protector on your phone, remove all fingerprints and register them once again without using a screen cover. Now, the thing is, this phone already has a screen protector installed. You might be able to see it on the front facing camera over here. This is a screen protector that came pre-installed from the factory. So I'm not sure if I should remove the screen protector then register my fingerprints once again. So they are telling us to remove the screen cover on the phone which is already pre-installed from the factory then register the fingerprints again. Hmm, what the heck Samsung. Also there are some notes make sure that there is no screen cover when you register a fingerprint. You may not be able to register or scan your fingerprints if you use a screen cover. Okay, so what I'm going to do is after the update is complete, I will remove the fingerprints that are already registered on the phone and then we will re-register those fingerprints and see if it works because there is already a screen protector and they are saying that if you use a screen cover or a screen protector, you will not be able to register your fingerprints. So we will see what happens if we try to register our fingerprints with the factory installed screen protector. We recommend that you don't use a screen cover, especially a screen cover with a textured surface on the inside. Okay, so that is about it. We will start the update. The update is only 4.2 megabytes. So update. That's it. The update is now installed. I will now restart the phone. Enjoying the content? Well, make sure to subscribe and do press that bell icon so that you can get notifications to my latest uploads. Let's continue. Okay, so what I've done after restarting is I've gone into biometrics and security and I have deleted the fingerprints that were already registered. So we are going to register fresh fingerprints to avoid any errors. So I will now go into fingerprints. The phone will ask me for my pin next. And now we are going to register the fingerprint. So we were, so we are able to register our fingerprints with the factory installed screen protector. So the Samsung approved screen protector will work, no problem. So that's it, done. You can see there's a screen protector already installed, uh, which came pre-installed from the factory. So this is my right thumb. So let me just lock the phone and try unlocking. All right, so this phone is now updated. So this is great, Samsung has finally fixed the security loophole with the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner on the Note 10 and the S10.
Okay, so now we are going to update the Galaxy S10 Plus. The procedure is exactly the same. You download the update, then restart your phone, delete the registered fingerprints, then re-register fingerprints without a screen protector. But this phone does not have a screen protector. I already removed the factory installed screen protector long ago. So I already have this update pending over here. Tap, update. And once the update is installed, restart the phone. And once the phone restarts, go to biometrics and security settings. It's still starting up. Biometrics and security, go to fingerprints, enter your PIN, then delete the fingerprints that are already registered before, remove and then make sure you don't have any screen protectors installed on your phone, then tap on add fingerprint. Now we are going to register fresh fingerprints. And that is it. Once you press done, I recommend that you rename this right thumb, save. So let us try, lock and, and bam, it is working fine. And you may need to re-verify fingerprints in Samsung Pay, so I will do that later. But yeah, after this update, your Samsung Galaxy Note 10, S10, S10 Plus and the Note 10 Plus will be more secure. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and do make sure to update your Galaxy Note 10 and the S10 as soon as you get this update. And it goes without saying, if you enjoyed my content, do make sure to subscribe and follow me on my social media accounts. All the links are down in the video description. Alright, so I will see you guys next time.